Welcome back to Beaver Stadium. A beautiful day for Big Ten football. Our game between Northwestern and Penn State. Let's welcome in now the third member of our crew on the sidelines today, Quint Kessner. He's warming up on the bicycle. Can't get enough warm-ups down there. He even rides the bike during the game, Charles. Well, if you're a primetime athlete, you got to stay warm and you got to stay fresh. And Michael Robinson is one of those guys. I hope to see him more wide receiver because that is where he's most effective. He's got his hand up, crowd ready to go here. Another near sellout crowd at uh, Beaver Stadium. And the opening kick, Northwestern will receive. Terrell Jordan deep downfield to take this one back for Northwestern. And he doesn't even make it up to the 20-yard line. So good special teams. And Noah Heron takes the opening handoff and gets maybe back to the... Isaac A steps up over center, then back in the shotgun. Aaron gets the call again, straight up the gut to the Scott Paxson. Has played like one with four block kicks this season. The linebacking core, the true freshman Dan Conner in for the injured Tim Shaw. You look at Paul Cronin, the free safety has to have a big game. They need him to stop that Northwestern passing attack when they throw the football. They really liked what that defense has done for the Nittany Lions. Bassinet over the middle. This one falls incomplete for the goal at the end of the year. Here's the punt. Melvin Lowry takes it about his 38-yard line, trying to find some running room, but he is brought down as he crosses the 40. Missing the last two games with a concussion, hopes to redirect this struggling offense. This is only his seventh game of the season because of injuries. Craig, you got to know he may be looking over his shoulder. Number 14, Anthony Morelli, is right there. He doesn't play well, which his offense had to play it all year. You will see the freshman, Anthony Morelli. And Joe Paterno told us yesterday we expect to see the freshman at some point in the game. And getting chased looking to pass and he is picked off at the 33 yard line northwestern has the football so northwestern has the football and heron takes the handoff he's had positive gains and only one carry so far this time the quick pass good for the first down and more jonathan fields has the football look at him go all the way down to the 30 inside the 20 before he's hauled out of bounds and a flag this time the handoff the dive towards the end zone and it'll be marked just short and our phillips the tackle here all the way up here these guys are going to converge right there. Anwar Phillips goes down, and then Noah Herring gets hit not only there. You see the arm go up almost like when you watch boxers, and they get knocked. Hopefully, they'll be able to come back. Gerald Jordan in to take his spot at running back. Gets the handoff. Goes straight ahead for the touchdown, and the Wildcats are on the board first here at Beaver Stadium. Ryan Huffman kicks off. Scott takes the short kick. Comes up over the 20-yard line. Still on his feet. Crosses the 35. Good the pass. That much we do know. Aileen goes on to the bubble there a bit. This time Hunt gets the carry. Foul with a leg injury. It's time now for true freshman Mark Rubin to step up for Penn State. And for Mark Rubin to be effective, you need Tyler Reed, who's getting a start today in front of Scott Davis, has to do a good job allowing this offense to be effective, not only in the running game, but in the passing game. Option from Michael Robinson on their very first play in offense of the game. This time Mills goes downfield, looks for Robinson, and this one falls out of bounds. Mm -hmm. he the incomplete pass. Straight back in the pocket, dumps it off the hunt, picks up the first down. Very good receiving back. Pick up the first down. Now the inside handoff to the big fullback. Robinson in motion. Mills tries to dump it to his fullback, and Jefferson replays. Jordan in the game at running back. Heron remains on the sideline. Today, pass is complete here in November. 0-5 to start it out. Bazade now after the timeout has this one batted away. That's exactly no gain. Second down, 10. Mills pass complete to Rubin at some point. Third down, six. This time inside handoff and a first down for Hunt as he is. How many series do you give Zach Mills to try to get this team on the board? This time he finds his tight end, Isaac Smoke, in the shotgun. Back to pass, tries to find Robinson. 
Wilson in just a little bit. Oh, Wentz is what Northwestern faced at home in their victory last week against Purdue. Third down and long for Bazaday and the Wildcats. Straight back, looking over the middle. Pass complete. Fields has it. First down. And another Northwestern now near their 25-yard line. Big rush coming in and going down. Tumba Holly with the sack for him. As soon as the ball is snapped, you can see Brett Bazinet looking at him. He works inside, beats Trey Essex, and just gets to the Wildcats. And they do it again. On third down, they do pass complete over the middle at the 40-yard line. Herbert just working down the field. They come with the blitz. It's not picked up. It's man coverage. And you can see what a great shot by three-yard pickup. Paul Cronin covering underneath, and then Lowry just coming over the top with a nice score Northwestern to keep this drive alive. This time, Fields, and this one incomplete. Well, I tell you what, Phillips is coming in. There's been some serious hitting. Earlier, he came with a nice hit, and now this time, ooh, one-on-one. -on -one. I think the one in back in the ball game for Northwestern. A positive side for the Wildcats. Catches the pass. Immediately hit Aaron Vesloas. And the pitch back. And that Penn State defense holds true short of the first down. Lowry there on the first hit. And the option. What you have to have is all these guys working out. You see 31 plus Lesney working on the quarterback. They have two people for him. And then Anwar Phillips holding down. And then who comes up? Second down and nine for the Mitney Lions. Mills getting chased out of the pocket looking for a receiver. And Robinson. Oh, Robinson. Third down and nine. Bazinet on first down at 10, rolling to his right. And throws it. And second down, Bazinet, no room to run there. Three times already in the first half. Bazinet, the screen, Heron, nowhere to go. Up here in a moment. We'll see what the Nittany Lions can do on offense. Officially marked at the six. Gets the handoff, spins, a little bit of running room, stretches up to the Very top. nice. 25,000 students here. Did they follow the blue? Looks pretty blue here. His uh, ability to get a first down. Hunt again, the carry. Five, so it's happened over the last two seasons. That's what they're trying to erase today and get their first Big Ten win. Robinson catches the football. This time makes a nice. First down with Tony Hunt. Now they come to Michael Robinson. And this is a great play by him. Take the shot. Do the spin move. Good job by him of staying alive and then picking up the first down. Zach Mills holding on to that football. That lefty throwing that ball out there to Michael's Northwestern defense. Pressure on Mills. Gets the pass off to Hunt. Plenty of running room. Picks a hole. Still on his feet. And finally brought down at the 36. Besides running the football, they have set the screen up nice. You see big Ryman out in front of him blocking. Easy Smith, one of them. Running down the field, picking up blocks way down the field. Tony Hunt. The Lions. Hunt remains the lone man in the backfield. Gets the handoff. Looking for a hole now to within striking distance. Big third down at five. He's in trouble, and he's brought down back at the 35-yard line. The drive that started at the 6, stalls at the 35. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. He did not need that extra 5. Ball down and down. Northwestern will take it. Aaron up the gut. Plenty of running room. He's a horse to bring down. Phillips Troy needs some help. Finally gets it. And penalties. Keeps it at 2nd down. Bazinet, moving out of the pocket, pass is complete, finds Fields at the road four-yard line. Bazinet rolling to his right, looking downfield, pass is complete, and he finds his man on the second and 23. So a couple of personal fouls, and Bazinet throws his one. Third down and 35 after the penalty. Bazinet downfield, this one nearly picked off. It was up for the case brewing here with personal foul penalties. Lowry finding a little bit two yard line. Drilling in this game by a touchdown. Keeps it. This time chased out of the pocket. Finds his big tight end, Smolko. Has 17 school records.
And you'd like to see him finish strong if you're Joe Paterno. That's part of the deal. This ball may have been fumbled. The Wildcats have the football at their own 13 yard line, first down and 10. Aaron gets the call, still on his feet, breaks a tackle or two. He's a big, thick kid. Bazade rolling out. Intercepted. Penn State's got the football. Paul Cronin comes up with the play, still on his feet, and finally brought down at the 21-yard line of Northwestern. There is going to work in this rollout situation, and there's going to be too many Penn State defenders there. Everybody's covered. He doesn't see Cronin because he's Sets so up the offense very nicely. Zach Bill straight back. Dumps it off to Hunt, still on his feet, spin. If there's any time to capitalize, this is it. Hunt the carry, straight ahead, good run. Hunt, first down, inside the 10, fumbles the ball. And looks like the Wildcats have it unless they marked him down. And it looks like they may have marked him down. But Penn State clearly threatening, second down and goal. In the middle. Little straight back, looks, throws, pass complete, and then out of bounds. Looking for his tight end, Patrick Hall. Hunt in the backfield, Jefferson ahead. Mills keeps it, the rush. Pass. Touchdown, Penn State to his tight end, Isaac Smoko. Zach Mills made that play, Greg, because he, he knew he was going to take a shot. And cool under the pressure. You're right. He knew he was going to get hit, but he waited for his receiver to get open. He just said, I know I'm going to take a shot and find Isaac Smoko in the back of the end zone. And Zach Mills, <laughs> how long have we waited for a touchdown? It's been a while. Wisconsin defense. Ball marked at the 43 for Bazinet. Over the middle, finds his receiver, Herbert. And all this. On second down, Bazinet straight back. Unloads, quick pass. First half. Already down to the 25. Asne looks, quick pass, caught. Inside the... Brian Huffman in for the 31-yard attempt. Seven of 16 field goals this season. And this one blocked. By Paxson, Phillips has the football, trying to do something with it in the first half. Plus, College Game Day Studio, presented by Phillips. Six and we're going to have a fantastic finish here, I'm sure, the way things have gone. Northwestern on the short kick. Penn State's got it, and they will start near their 20-yard line. The real key is Northwestern coming out, getting going early. Dominique Price with a nice interception. And then Terrell Jordan scoring behind that big offensive line. Then you got to look also to it. Tony Hunt didn't fumble or did he not? They reversed the call, called it on the field a fumble, and then who scores? Isaac Smoko. Nice play by Zach Mills of being patient, finding his receiver. He takes over first down at 10. Mills, the screen out to Hunt. And tries to fight for a Here's how it breaks down. Northwestern was able to move the ball pretty well, but still came up with only the one score. That Penn State defense tightened up. They gave up that one point, one touchdown off of turnovers. But you can see both teams have had tur turnovers. They got to like been... where they're going here in the home stretch in the final four games. Walk out, John. <laughs> Mills, rolling, pass, short. Incomplete, fourth down, trying to find his team. Capitos, high floater. Herbert fumbles the football, it's loose. It looks like the Nittany Lions have it at the 35-yard line of Northwestern. Return a lot of punts, and you can see coming up, doesn't look the ball all the way in, and just takes his eye off it at the last second. The ball goes right through his hands. And that's where you have to be cognizant of what's going try on. Try to uh, re-coordinate their play call mm -hmm. and get a better read. Hunt helps but loses the football. Was he down? Northwestern has ruled to recover the fumble. Hunt after a good... That showed that the runner's knee was down. Therefore, the ball is back to Penn Hunt stays in the block. Mills keeps it straight ahead, first down on the sneak. 
Make the reverse hunt, keeps it. On the running room, gets it, spins down to the Twice today. And Hunt trying to salvage something, stays on his feet. A flag comes down, however, as he's tackled inside the 10-yard line. Back in the back, number 87 of the offense. It's not the direction you want to go if you're Penn State already in the red zone, and that's the other way. Mills sets up the screen. Hunt goes down and snipped up third down now at 17. This time hands it off to Hunt. Tries to pick up some extra yards, gets tackled inside the 15-yard line. Out of two from 30 to 39 yards out. This one sails wide, no good. So this keeps the score 7-7. Northwestern with the football for the first time this half. After the turnover, and Heron on the big run. He's got a 119. He's on, a, on pace right now. Bassinet on the quarterback draw. We talk about how good Penn State's defense is. They slow him down here. Here comes a flag. Knocked out at the 50-yard line. Legal block in the back. Number two in the offense. Oh, we stopped them in their tracks. Second and long. Bazinet out of the shotgun. Pass is complete. A beautiful day for football here, and we are locked up 7-7. Seven, seven. With 7.04 to go in the third quarter. Penn State, the football, pitched back to Hunt. Looking for some room in the second half at all. Mills rolls out to his left. And there he is. There's Michael Robinson. Makes a big catch out to the 40 yard. He's going to work to his right and then come back to his left. He fakes the handoff and then has opening. Nobody there. This is an easy throw for him. A lefty getting the ball right there. Now he's had some problems. Flips off to the top of the screen. Mills fakes, pumps. Looking for Robinson. And he has this one slip oh, through. Right up. Third and long again. This time, Mills lets it fly for Robinson, and I'm not sure that he saw the football Can say that. But look where those other three teams rank. And look at the Northwestern at their average. Bassaday in the rollout. Fires. And it is. Heron, handoff, first down. Look at him go. Kim Thompson, only two receptions coming into this game, filling in for the injured Fillmore. This time the captain, where you get the sense that Northwestern's trying to open things up a little bit more. Basnay taking some chances, and this time finds his receiver. Oh, now Basnay makes a, 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 a throw that you don't like to see, but he knows he can get it in between those linebackers. I mean, Dan Connor's there, Paul Puzlesny. He puts it right in the This time on the reverse, going the other way, and it's just... Aaron bounces off one tackle, gets down to the... Where's the drive? 58 yards in counting. Aaron, big hole! Inside the 15, but there. It's the call again. Northwestern to the go-ahead score, second down and five, as they are very, very close, getting closer. Is First and goal for the Wildcats. Heron trying to punch it in. Northwestern touchdown. Being an honorary lineman, you like to see that when a lineman get a surge because you get a chance. So to Penn see State it. trying to come back and answer. Down by seven. Robinson makes the catch. Robinson a nice catch to set up second down and five. Hunt the carry. First down, still on his feet. Crosses the 30. His return uh, a couple of weeks ahead of time, and they said it really has brought an emotional lift to this squad. And Clark, third down. Mills looks, throws, caught by Robinson. No, incomplete. They said he bobbled the ball. He's working that route, running that comeback out. Marvin Ward covered with him. Now he snags the ball. He comes down. But they say he's bobbling the ball as he hits the ground. He hit the ground here as well. Wildcats by seven. Aaron straight up the middle, looking to power to another first down. And they're in a tight one again. Aaron, this time no room to run. He tries it. Bazinet keeps it. He's got some room to run. Puts his head down. 
Second down. Aaron and a flag comes in. This check's going to be a holding call. Penn State defense. They need the football back, trilling by seven. Bazinet, ball batted down. Lamont Chisley, his 6 5 frame, stretches out, knocks it away. You're going to see Chisley work inside and work all the way back out and knock the ball down. That was great hustle play by Chisley. And Penn State is going down to the wire. It's a 14 7 game. And check this out Northwestern ahead, but winless here at Beaver Stadium. And they haven't played in a game like this. Seven minutes to go. Penn State will have something to say before it's over. The screen to Hunt. First down. Plenty of running room. It's finally brought down at the 33 yard line. Michael Robinson comes out of the backfield. Mills straight back. Pass complete. Finds his big tight end, Isaac Smolko. Pass by Zach Mills getting into the scene. McGargle was running right with them. But he just puts it right over the top. That's the toughest throw to make for a quarterback. They're at the 45 yard line of Northwestern, trailing by seven. Mills rolls out. Now gets chased the other way, finds Hunt. And a good open field, third down, all important for Penn State, and seven. Mills out of the shotgun, throws, has a wide open. Robinson, this time he catches it. And gets knocked out of bounds in a big third down conversion. He doesn't have a chance to get there. Now Zach Mills pumps, fakes it, and just puts it right in between those two guys in that cover two. First down for the Nittany Lions inside the 20 yard line to the end zone. And incomplete. He was looking for Kinta Palmer. It's the first time today that he is thrown to the really attacking Northwestern defense. The screen ball still in the air. Who's got it? Looked like it hit bounce. Northwestern says it's their ball. And 10 for Penn State. And they convert again on third and long. Mills looks downfield to Robinson. Incomplete. In this offense. Four down conversions on the season for Penn State. Four out of 12. They have to try it here down by a touchdown. Mills to Hunt. And he's going to be well short. Northwestern's defense just too good to let Hunt get the 10 necessary yards there. Nittany Lions can't stop it anymore. Out of timeouts. Heron straight ahead. Big hole. First down. Just under three minutes to go. Big guy gets the call again. But it hurts you in the, in the uh, going to a bowl game. Can't have any more than the five losses. You know, like Joe Paterno, a legend who's been around so many years and, and seen so much football played. But clearly, they want to get the start going on the next season. And those Defense seniors of the week last week, Penn State, uh, I should say Northwestern, takes the knee, and that should do it. He's just a tackling machine. Loves to tackle and play and be around the football. So Randy Walker goes off victorious for Northwestern their first road victory of the season a 14 7 win over Penn State as he meets Joe Paterno at midfield the two coaches shake hands for Penn State they fall to 0 and 6 in the Big Ten once again our final score 14 7 Northwestern let's go to the ESPN plus college game day studio presented by Phillips 66.